six or seven years since I was last here, so it's so good to see all of you. Super awesome productions. They've been so good. We all had lunch. They took us to go get a bunch of Filipino food, so I got my synagogue. And, uh, what else did we have? What was the called? The, the, the fish? The papa? No, it was another one. It starts with a D. Papa. 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 Yeah. We had like all of it. We had, um, what else did we have? I mean, and then they gave us halo halo at the end. So I was like, Hey, that was the best. Well, Filipino local dishes, right? So good. So good. Yeah, but, yeah, you actually answered my first question. Oh. Yeah, because I would like to ask as well, like, what else did you miss here in the Philippines? Because it's like around the six years, if I'm not mistaken, right? Since the last visit? Yeah. Like 2008 was the last time? Yeah. Oh. How long? Wait, how long? Wait, how many years is that? <laughs> yeah, six years. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Sorry. I was like, how did I get lost track? Yeah, so how is your uh, visit here in the Philippines right now? What are your changes? It's been so good. I guess it's been, when I come back, because the Filipinos make you feel so welcome and so at home. They make you feel like your family. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my gosh, am I related to you? <laughs> Should we go have like a family pick out or something? Because it's just, it, you, I feel so like I have so much in common with the Filipino culture and, and people because I tend to be a little more like oh nervous and shy and like everyone has been the same but like very heartfelt and emotional love to sing karaoke I love to sing karaoke so it's like you know I just feel like hey feel like hey cousins hey brother yeah Oh, I know. I, I do it all the time. I sing too many songs. So. Okay, now, David, I'd like to go into deep diving to your journey, like a singer, not just here in the Philippines, being known here in the Philippines, but all over the world, right? And your career has been nothing short of amazing, and it's really um, commendable to see you have so many hits, remarkable songs, and whatnot. So, looking back. What would you have say has been the highlight of your career so far? And what's been the most surprising thing about your journey in this music industry? The highlight of my career? Um, oh gosh. I... Oh, awesome. Uh, so, 
gosh, what is the highlight of my career? I feel like where I'm at now feels so special because it's been, what is it, 16 years since I was on American Idol? 16, gosh, that's scary. <laughs> Uh, 16 years since I was on, and um, so that's over, that's like half my life ago. And um, I'm making new music now, and it feels so special because um, I came out as queer uh, a few years ago. Thank you. The leaders are here supporting you all the way. Thank you so much. And that was very difficult for me to, to do because I grew up very religious, and I just thought, how can I? accept that about myself. I yeah. can't. And when I finally did, it's like a whole new world. <laughs> Because I've always hated myself for that part of me because I was like, I can't like myself until I can change. And when I, and since I never was able to change myself, I just, I learned to despise myself. And now that I've learned to have this love for me, I feel this new confidence. And I'm able to write about it and put it in my music and in my performances. And um, so I have new music, I have new music for y'all to just wait. I have new album I'm going to work on for next year. I've, I've written so many fun songs. I was giving the sneak peek to some a couple of people yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen that. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing oh, your guest thing. Like, so. I don't think they're in the camera. Okay. So. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for that. And so I feel like actually, even though it's not necessarily a part of my career, I feel like coming out was my proudest moment because it helped me learn how to finally love myself fully and then put that into my music and career and just to feel the support from everybody. Uh, means so much. Exactly. Thanks for sharing that. And everyone here is very, very proud of you and proud of what you really conquered throughout your life struggles and whatnot. And thank you so much because you've been a total inspiration for everybody. That's why they're here. And I've been asking all of them earlier, some of them were, you know, present during your last concert here in the Philippines. Oh They've been a fan ever since you were an American Idol. Like it's been years, and you've mentioned it's like 16 years ago for American Idol, and you know what? They're still here, going strong and supporting you with whatever decision that you have. Thanks, you as well. <laughs> and speaking of you know professional life, and at the same time personal stuff, you know, personal life. So on a more personal note, we'd love to know what keeps you inspired and motivated. How do you find balance between your professional life and your personal life? Um, I try to just make time for some personal time for myself every day. I, I, I go to the gym and that's really helpful for just feeling better physically but also mentally. I, I do little things like I make myself breakfast in the morning. I make myself eggs a lot of times. And, We'll go to the gym. I'll do a lot. I'll do some time where I just stretch mm -hmm. and meditate. Like I just try to be very present with my body, yeah, <laughs> and um, that's that's something that has helped me as well. And just like the self love journey that I've been on by taking care of myself. I, it's like sometimes it's like you don't know. I'm like, how do I love myself? How do I take care? Of, I don't know how to like myself. It's a new thing for me, and so it's like, well, just. If, when you start doing things for yourself, like taking care, like going to the gym, like yeah. giving yourself food, <laughs> like serving yourself in little ways like that, and stretch and meditating, it's like you start to gain that love and self-respect. Exactly. And so it's that's been interesting. It's helped me a lot in my performance and in my writing. Yeah, and it's amazing to know how you balance all those things, considering that you still have a lot of things to do, like your concert for tomorrow, right. and a lot of guest things in the near future. And at the same time, I totally agree with you in terms of like self-love, hashtag self-love, because if you love yourself from me then, and that's where everyone sees how you look so inspired and happy, like you are right now. So totally fresh and inspired and happy. Ah! <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah! Thank you, you're very nice. Yeah, and speaking of all those things that you're preparing in the near future, what's 
Let's talk about future plans because I've been hearing there's more to come from David Archuleta. Now the question is, what's next for David Archuleta? Are there any exciting projects or new music on the horizon that you can share with us? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I want to share so many things with y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm working on new music. I'm, I'm working on a book as well, a new book. And I've been writing it for the last year, and uh -huh. I finally finished it about a month ago. Wow, exciting. And yeah, thank you. So it, it's about the journey that I've just from since American Idol, and, and when I went on my mission, and um, coming back, and then coming out <laughs> of the closet, and I just and all of that, and um, is is in the book. So we'll. That'll be out next year as well. Next year. Yeah, next year. That's it. So, yeah, I was making some last edits, uh -huh. or like a bunch of edits on it, but... Uh, and then, yeah, the music. I, I wish I could, like, show y'all clips or something, but I just... <laughs> um, I'm very excited. I've, I've been channeling a lot of these, um, these pop... Like, a lot of the pop princesses I've been inspired by this summer, like Sabrina Carpenter, and Chapel Row, and then... Um, just... Yeah, so I, 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 and and actually, like I've I've been a, a big fan of EDM music, so just like wanting to dance and feel good and have a good time. Um, I hope that this music will let people have a good time. I love it. So you prepare like a book that's going to be released next year, and yeah. it's a year in the making, right? I'm yeah, so excited. Yeah. Everyone's so excited to know more about it, and it's so amazing to see how you use your creativity in terms of like not just writing songs, creating songs, but also writing books, you know? Because yeah, even though the me memoir that you have uh, written before, that's so interesting. And thank you for sharing that because us fans here are all so excited.